Hello and welcome to the 25th Transformers Toy News Recap. That's right, including the week off I took for Christmas because I'm a little bit lazy, we've been doing this now for 26 weeks, otherwise known as 6 months, or as we in the business refer to it, half a year. And I can't think of any better way to celebrate than by recapping some Transformers Toy News. This week from Hasbro we have the all but confirmed rumour of a Generations Devastator. Details are scarce at the moment and there's lots of speculation about the figure. Counts of TFW 2005 attended a Hasbro Asia showroom event and has stated the following. It's likely to be a new mold Combiner Wars Combiner that will be tight in class and stand around Metroplex size when combined. The number of bots is still to be confirmed but could be up to six. It will be made up of one leader class and four or five Voyager class figures. It will cost $179.99 Canadian and there will be a yellow San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Katz has also stated that we'll get a G1 box set Blaster, Perceptor, Insecticons, which are very likely to be the Platinum reissue set we saw images for last year, Trypticon, and a G1 Conehead set. Wave 2 of the Combiner Wars Deluxes looks set to include IDW Comics. This was an idea proposed when the line was first announced, however, it didn't come to pass. Now, thanks to Nevermore of TFW 2005, we can see that Wave 2 appears to rectify this. Also, Slingshot of TFW 2005 has discovered listings for Generations Combiner Wars First Aid and Rook, which would suggest that we will be indeed getting a Defensor Combiner. An image has appeared online which is said to be a compilation of posters from the Hasbro booth at the UK Toy Fair. Shown are robots in disguise and Combiner Wars bots, and of particular interest is the robot to the left of Grimlock, which appears to be a white redeco of the Combiner Wars Optimus that could potentially be an Ultra Magnus figure. Fans have also noticed that the chest of this bot looks to be Rodimus-esque, suggesting that we could be getting a Rodimus Blackjack retool slash redeco. And at the bottom left of the image is artwork for what looks to be a classics Bumblebee. Ice Spark of TFW 2005 has revealed possible upcoming figures. These images are of alleged computer listings at Toys R Us and suggest that we'll be getting a Megatronus figure from $29.99 and that the next US Masterpiece release will be Blue Streak for $59.99. Robots in Disguise, Titan Heroes, Optimus, Bumblebee and Steeljaw figures have been posted on eBay with images showing them in packaging. And Terminal Video Italia of Italy have posted a transformation scheme for what appears to be a three-step Robots in Disguise sideswipe. This was posted as part of the listing for the Warrior Class figures, so chances are we'll be seeing this figure as part of a future line. Hobby Link Japan have released new images of the upcoming Takara Megatron. Designated the LG13, this is available for pre-order until the 25th of January for 6,000 yen. So if you want it, you better act fast. Or you can do what I'm going to do, which is spend the rest of the week thinking about it, decide last thing on Sunday that I do really want it, go online and realise that Japan are 8 hours in front, and then spend 2 weeks crying. Also, please note that these images are not of the final product. The reissue of the Takara MP10 Optimus is also available for pre-order, costing 17,600 yen. Takara have updated the deco for MP23 Exhaust. Due to a conflict with Marlboro and Philip Morris USA's trademark of triangles, you're next Egypt. Takara have altered the design to make the triangles less triangular. The majority of American pre-orders have now gone back up, and unlike the Marlboro Man, Marlboro Wheeljack will live to fight again. And the release dates for MP23 Exhaust and MP24 Star Saber have been updated, both of them now having moved to March 21st. Could the next three masterpiece figures have been revealed? Rumours are abound at the moment, and plenty of people are claiming to know a guy who knows a guy who knew a guy that had dinner with Mr. Takara, who revealed the next masterpiece Transformers. However, Chinese website Teo Beo have added listings for upcoming Takara masterpiece figures, including MP25 tracks. MP26 Red Tracks or Road Rage, and MP27 Ironhide. Whether these are definitely the next Masterpiece figures or not is still to be confirmed, however, in the meantime, let's let the speculation run wild. Hobby Collection have posted a list of upcoming Takara Transformers. Sparking speculation amongst fans are the Nemesis Prime, Ultra Magnus, and Lockdown figures, with collectors eager to know which versions of the characters these will be based on. There are also listings for Robots in Disguise and Choro Q figures, and there's a link to the full translated list, courtesy of TFW 2005, below. Courtesy of Autobase H on Facebook are these images from Super Festival 67 in Japan. 
Of note are images of Million Publishing Shuki, Go Shooter from Transformers Generations Volume 2 2014, and the huge Unicron head by X Gokin, shown alongside other X Gokin figures for size comparison. Creo robots in disguise sets have been spotted in the wild. Thanks to Prime Roller and Yo Buster of TFW 2005, these look to have been released in Taiwan and Singapore. This should hopefully mean that the US and rest of the world releases aren't too far off. And thanks to Rehappy.com.br, we've got images of an Angry Birds Transformers Jazz and Brawl 2 pack, which are redecos of the earlier release Soundwave and Megatron slash Bludgeon toys. Custom Robots have released packaging images of their Hound and Tracks figures. These should be on their way to retailers right about now, and they also posted images of their accessories, including the figure stand and many interchangeable hands that will be included with each figure. Play with this too, I've had a very busy week. They gave us our first look at Iron Strike, a Master Force Metal Hawk homage. They also posted a new image of their headshots, stating that they will include three display stands so that the heads can be displayed even when not in use. They also posted images of Landmass, stating that it may or may not be a crowdfunding exclusive. They posted this image, saying that they're still thinking of adding a Cape 3 pack as a stretch goal and asked for opinions. And finally, they posted this teaser image from an as yet unannounced designer on the team. The Falcon Hanger have posted new in-hand images of fans projects Madlaw. Designated function 15, this is their quick switch homage and these images show an early release sample of the upcoming 6 changer in robot, panther, jet, gun, drill and skiff modes. We also got this image courtesy of Kuma Style showing just how tall the figure will be. In package images of Warbatron's Whirlwind have been posted by Toyzone. The WB03D is their unofficial Vortex homage and is the fourth member of their first Gestalt, their unofficial Bruticus. And sticking with Combiners, Unique Toys revealed the next member of their Ordin Combiner. Ordin is their Abominus homage and next to join the G1 style Terracons with their Sinner Twin homage, Finrear. Finrear is the name of a legendary wolf from North mythology and this guy looks nothing like a wolf. Pre-orders are open now. And Transbridge Omega Lock posted these images of the sample box art for X Transbots MX1 Apollyon, their Megatron homage, and you can see Beachcomber and Windcharger on the back too. Lunar Toy Store have revealed images of Master Made Super Deformed Metroplex figure. These show the base mode for the anticipated figure, named Titan Defall. This will stand 20 centimeters tall, transform without parts forming, and include a smaller Super Deformed Ultra Magnus figure. They've also stated they will contain some die-cast parts to aid stability and durability. Crossovergen have posted packaging images for their god armour. It's stated that this is only an illustration of the box art for the TF-02 god armour and that the final product may vary. And thanks to Tony Chi on Facebook, we've had in-hand images of the red G1 toy deco of Fans Toys Iron Diebots 02 FT-05 Saw, their swoop homage. And courtesy of Toyo City's Facebook page, we've also got this image of the box for the figure. And from Fans Toys to Ultimate Fans Toys, we've posted images of upcoming upgrade kits. Their UFT IDW010 are designed for Generations Robuster, because Robuster can never have too many guns. I mean, who needs hands when you can have a missile launcher instead? And Generations Jetfire. The hands shown here are just a prototype, and the final version will feature articulated fingers. And these weapons will also be interchangeable with Combiner Wars figures. Dr. Wu have released new images of their mercenary kit. This version of the DWM02 will be made in a lighter shade of green so that it can be used with the Amazon slash Blu-ray version of the Age of Extinction Hound figure, making him look a lot fatter and giving him more weapons to play with. The Guild of Concoctionist Intent have released more images of their Aster Blades. They showed the glow-in-the-dark green, red and blue swords, which were only available for the pre-order, which is now ended. The other versions of the Aster Blades are still available from Chosen Prime for $24.99 a pair, and earlier pre-orders started shipping on January the 15th. They also posted a video on YouTube in which Autotron Prime detailed the design process of the Aster Blades. You can check this out by clicking on the link in the description below. And sticking with swords, Unicron Nemesis Studios have posted images of Ennis Toys Metal Swords in hand. And finally, to round off this week's recap, Hasbro are inviting Transformers fans worldwide to help them create their next character. This will be similar to last year's fan built poll, which resulted in the creation of Windblade. However, this time, rather than just creating one character, fans will be creating a new team of Transformers that will form a combiner for their Combiner Wars line. 
To vote, you'll need to download the free Transformers app and the campaign will be launching soon. And that's all for the 25th Transformers Toy News Recap. I will be making a Q&A video, so if you've got anything you want to ask me, please comment below or hit me up on Twitter. It's at Star to Star Toys. Thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in a week's time. Ha <laughs> ha!